Hey guys, Harsh here back in the video. So today I'm going to show you how you can use this potentiometer to control a brushless motor. So I have hooked up my brushless motor to the ESC and to the power supply and to the Arduino. So once you turn the knob, the motor will start to spin. So let's get started. Okay, so let's go to the parts that we are going to need in this build so first of all it is the potentiometer and this is a 10 kilo ohm potentiometer to use it as a control knob to control the spin speed of the ESC or the motor I should say then we are going to use a 1200 kilo volt motor so this is the same motor that I used in my drone and it is a pretty good motor pretty reliable in some cases so it has also some bullet connectors in it so you can easily attach them to the ESC and speaking of the ESC, it is a simple 12 volt 3S or 4S ESC with the BEC included. So the BEC is battery eliminated circuit. So this can allow a 5 volt output and then power the Arduino with the pins on the connector over here. And then of course we will need the Arduino. So this is the Arduino you know and as you can see that I have installed some extra pins over here and on this side. So the connection is a lot more easier. Then at last to connect all this we need some jumper cables so without further ado let's get started. Okay, so now the first part is to connect the ESC to the motor so it is pretty simple you just take the three pins of the motor just like so and just connect them to the ESC and the ESC also has bullet pins so the process is just like this. and it does not matter on which order you connect them and uh, this will just work fine but uh, if you want to switch the rotation that means if the motor is spinning clockwise and you want it to spin anti-clockwise then you can simply switch any of the two wires that will make it go the other direction and to power up the ESC I am going to use this gigantic 12 volt power supply because I don't have my battery yet so I will be connected to this power supply over here so there are a lot of connections over here but we need to use only these two which are the 12 volt output so let's connect them and there is that and this will power up by the AC current that is supplied in our house so now let's move on to the potentiometer this is a simple potentiometer and these are some, some jumper cables so let's connect them to the potentiometer just like so now we can connect this to the Arduino so the red pin will be our plus 5 volts the yellow pin will be our ground and the orange wire will be our signal pin so let's connect the red pin to the Arduino the plus 5 volts and it does not matter where you connect them because the red wire can be also the negative wire and the yellow wire can be the positive so it doesn't matter which orientation you just connect them and the middle pin must be the single wire for the Arduino so let's connect the red wire here to the plus 5 volts and then the yellow pin to the ground and then the orange pin which is going to be our signal pin we are going to connect to the analog zero output of the Arduino which is right over here now we can take our ESC connection and connect it to the Arduino so the ESC connection will be the same for the ground and the wire so the ground wire will be connected to the ground and the positive wire will, will be connected to the positive of the Arduino and the signal pin of the ESC which is the white wire will be connected to the pin 8 of the Arduino so now let's connect them so I will take the ground wire which is going to be the purple wire over here and connect it to the ground of the Arduino then I am going to connect the red wire to the positive input of the Arduino and then the white wire the signal wire will go to the pin 8 of the Arduino and the pin 8 over is right over here okay so now all our connection is done with the ESC the motor and the potentiometer now we can go ahead and program it Okay, so on the desktop you can see that I have uh, write the code of the ESC control so as you can see that I have included the servo rivalry on the top because uh, the servo and the ESC works on the same principle they both receive PWM signals to work 
and then I defined the servo as ESC all in capital then here is the attachment of this ESC so I, if I want to attach it to pin 8 I can just write over here pin 8 or just 8 and uh, if you want to change that you can just change it by just doing this so now it is on p9 but uh, i have connected it to b8 so i am going to keep it that and then there are some microseconds and delays and serials to add then in the loop settings we have the value to read the analog value of a0 so this function will read the analog value of a0 which is being received by the potentiometer then here is the map of the, those values so 0 to 103 that's the value of the potentiometer and 1000 to 2000 is the value of the ESC and then we will write the ESC in the value val which is defined over here so now let's go to the tools and select our com port which is com5 and then just upload the code and now it's done uploading so once the code is uploaded the motor should start to work right away so you just turn the knob on this potentiometer to increase or decrease the speed so as you can see that the motor is now spinning and if you want to spin it more then you can use the so as you can see that clearly the motor is spinning fast and if you turn it down the motor will stop and that's about it for this video all right guys thanks for watching the video hope you like it please like subscribe and share thank you